Uh, right through this way, gentlemen? Did they get the cyclotron assembled yet or no? That's why they had to move it here. So it would collide right in the oh, middle of the right room. Here. Right off. Hi, it's Dave Collins again from Boulder, and I am here talking with you folks at the Daily Camera. We're in the Millennium Harvest House Hotel, and I am actually now uh, from Bellman. I am now the front desk supervisor, so I did get a promotion through this wonderful year of 2010, and I'm interviewing for a management position here at the hotel. So whoever thought that being a Bellman would turn into getting back into management? But it's a lot of fun, and I really, really enjoy it. And as I mentioned before in other interviews, it's really meeting the people and seeing where they're coming from, you know, all across the country and why they come to Boulder. <clears throat> Some of the things that have happened in 2010 for me, we all met uh, in the, back in March, I think was our first interview. And throughout that period of time, I've had a lot of ups and downs. I've been on a number of interviews. I've been on a number of final interviews, uh, all different kinds of companies, different positions from sales to sales management to operations. So it's been kind of a whirlwind with my career and not knowing really where things were going, uh, but kind of chasing after the things that look to be the best. Some of the other uh, ups and downs for the year, uh, I started a wellness industry business and a health industry business. So they're kind of get fit and make some money, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I've signed up for a triathlon uh, in the spring, so that's going to be a big challenge. So I always think you should have a big goal to go after, to keep yourself motivated. Um, and, you know, I recommend everybody get out and do some exercise because it just reduces stress, makes you feel really good. And if you're in a tough spot, what, what better way than some good endorphins rolling through you to make you feel fantastic. On the business side of things, you know, the economy is still shaky. Uh, a lot of people say, hey, we're all done with it. It's, we're all moving forward. The recession's over. I mean, personally, I believe that. Uh, I still think people are hesitant to uh, hire as much as they could because they're not sure just what's going to happen. And so I can completely respect their feelings and you know, people know their industries and they'll know what's best for them. Actually, goals for 2000, it's a great question. Um, in some of the talks that I've given, people always say, you know, who has goals? You raise your hand, then it's who has them written down, and then about a tenth of the hands go up. So I encourage everybody, write down your goals. Review them every day. I mean, some people think it's kind of sappy, but it really helps. I think the biggest thing I've learned this year really is persistence and keeping a positive attitude. A lot of people say, you know, you got to be in reality, and definitely I'm in reality. And I encourage everybody to, you know, maintain a, a good footing in reality, but also be optimistic and positive because you are presenting yourself to whomever you meet, and you never know who that's going to be. So you want to always present a good image, a positive feeling. And you know what? It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay to be all those things. But you know what? If it's just constant, then people are not going to want to really be around you. The persistence piece, it's knowing that tomorrow might be the day. Knowing that if I work a little harder, if I work a little longer, then it'll pay off. It's like those stories about, you know, someone sold the gold mine and then a few months later they struck the, the mother load. And I just think that's what life is like for a lot of people. They just need to keep going and just persist a little bit longer and then they'll, they'll see the light at the end of the tunnel or, or find their vein of gold. And you know what? You never know where that's going to turn out. So for me, if it's the hotel business, might be. If it's this health and wellness business, it might be. If it's going back into corporate America, that might be too. So I'm following a couple of different paths and just going to see where things go. And I'm really excited about it.